Hi everybody, Bob Gager from Adobe here with another installment of Ask Bob, where I get to answer questions from our Facebook fans. Today's Ask Bob segment goes out again to Judy and Sam Simpson Norris. Judy and Sam are asking how to make sky blue and water. They went to Pearl Harbor back in December and got uh, a day that was pretty overcast and hazy and don't really like any of their photos. So Judy and Sam, let me show you how to do that. Let's first switch over to Photoshop Elements Organizer, where I keep all my photos and videos managed. And I'm going to switch to the Places view. So right up here at the top, I'm just going to click Places to bring up a view where I see a map of the world and I see the photos taken in various locations over on the left. So down in this area right here, where it says Search the Map, I'm going to just type in Pearl Harbor and hit Enter. And Photoshop Elements will go off, search the map and find Pearl Harbor for me. So I just click on Pearl Harbor and Photoshop Elements automatically zooms the map into Pearl Harbor. And I can see these red pins that show me exactly where I've taken photos around Pearl Harbor. If I double click on one of them, so this pin here with four, I'll just double click that and you can see over here on the left are the four pictures that I took right there inside of Pearl Harbor. All right, so let's pick one. Uh, maybe this one. I'm just going to select it and then I'm going to come down here at the bottom and click on Editor. That picture will automatically be open for me in the Photoshop Elements Editor where I can do some adjustments. Uh, this is the quick view, but actually to make the water uh, blue today we're going to switch over to Expert View and show you some of the cool tools that we have there. So I'm just going to double click on the hand here to zoom my picture in a little bit and then over on the right I've got my Layers panel open, so if yours isn't open, just click this little icon down here in the bottom to open up your Layers panel. And this little icon right here, the black and blue uh, half circle icon, click on that and come down and select Photo Filter. So what we're doing here is adding something called an Adjustment Layer, and all of these are Adjustment Layers. We pick the Photo Filter Adjustment Layer. And what that does is add a new layer on top of my photo, with various types of adjustments. Uh, I pick the photo filter and what that does is basically give me a lot of different options around how I can adjust the color of my photo. So we default to warming filter so you can see it's a little um, sort of warmer, a little more reds and oranges. Uh, there are lots of different photo filters. Uh, if I want um, something like green, you can see the tinge of my entire photo turns green or maybe deep red if I wanted something like that but we're after making our water look blue so there's a couple choices to do that I can either pick something like the underwater photo filter and that's got this color um, or actually I just might want to pick a cooling filter which is just going to add a lot of blue to my image I can adjust the density so if that's too blue I can tune it down if I want it really blue I can crank it way up and you can see it's applying this to my entire photo right now. Don't worry about that. We're going to take care of that in just a second. So just adjust, paying attention to the water, adjust this density slider to kind of get the water as blue or not as blue as you want. And then go ahead and close the photo filter dialog by clicking the little X in the top left corner. So now we've got this layer. This is our photo filter. I can click the eyeball to hide it so we can see the before. If I click it again to show it, we can see the after. Um, but we don't really want this blue on our entire image. We just want it on the water. That's where this thing over here on this layer comes in. This is what's called a layer mask. Layer masks uh, are probably one of the most powerful features in Photoshop Elements. Once you start to understand masks uh, and get a little bit of mastery of them, it unlocks just a ton of power. So the way a layer mask works is that wherever the layer mask has white, in this case the entire layer mask has white, that layer is applied, but if I was to paint black on this layer mask, that part of that layer would be hidden. So just as an example, if I come over here, make sure my foreground color is set to black, grab a brush, if I bring my brush over on top of these cannons, you can see as I paint, make sure my layer mask is selected, as I paint black on my layer mask, that blue photo filter is being removed. So wherever I have black, it's hidden, wherever I have white, it shows. So that's the basics of layer masks. Again, paint with black to hide, paint with white to show. So let's uh, undo. Let's go all the way back to where my layer mask started. So everything's white. 
And step one is to just completely paint black everywhere on the layer mask. The easiest way to do that is with the paint bucket tool. So grab my paint bucket tool, make sure my foreground color is set to black. Make sure my layer mask is selected. So look for this little blue outline of my layer mask and just click on it. So at this point, the entire layer mask is black. None of that blue photo filter is showing. So now I can switch back to white as my foreground color. Select a brush instead of my paint bucket tool. And then when I come over here and paint, you can see everywhere I paint, I get a blue tinge back. So I can come around, just be a little sloppy here, paint all the water blue to sort of get that feel. Zoom in a little bit, let's zoom in here to the memorial and we can see where we've painted blue and where we haven't. Make my brush just a little smaller maybe so I can get into some of the corners and just paint on the water. Now your picture of course will be different so uh, your zoom level and your brush size and all of that uh, need to be adjusted appropriately. But as easy as that I can paint around and I can turn the water blue. If I make a mistake, oops, I accidentally painted over the uh, memorial there, I can undo my mistake very easily just by painting with black. Right? Remember on a layer mask, if I'm painting in black, it's hidden. If I'm painting with white, it's showing. I'm not actually painting on my picture. I'm just painting on that layer mask. So to correct my mistake, I just switch back. My foreground color is black. And I can paint back over where I made my mistake. So as simple as that, I can turn my water blue. Let's zoom out a little bit. If I'm doing, maybe zoom in here along the, uh, the side of the boat back to my brush, foreground color white, because that's allowing me to paint in the color, like that. If, if I hold my space key down, I can very simply drag my photo around to pan to a different area. Keep on painting with white on my layer mask so that that photo, fil photo filter shows, and very rapidly I can get the edges here. So that is the trick. Again, double click on the hand to zoom it in. So that's the trick to do something like painting water blue. Again, if I click on this little eyeball, I can hide that photo filter mask. If I click the eyeball again, I can bring it back. If I double click on this little icon here, it will bring up that photo filter dialog box again, and I can continue to adjust things. So maybe if that's the wrong color blue, I want maybe a little different blue, or maybe I want some deep yellow or emerald green, um, all kinds of different choices. Whatever choice I make automatically gets applied. I actually like that cooling filter the best. Maybe it's a little too blue for my taste, so I'll tune it down a little bit and get it to look a little more natural and then go ahead and close that. So with a little more time, of course, I could come over here and just keep painting some blue around the other side until I get all of the water. Same treatment for the sky. I could just paint a little blue into the sky if I wanted. Um, so as simple as that, I've got uh, something that looks a little more interesting than it did when I started. I've got a bluer sky and I've got some bluer water. The other thing that you might want to do with a shot like this on kind of a hazy day is add an adjustment layer, but this time add levels. Levels is a pretty powerful adjustment layer that lets me just make my photo look better. What I usually do in the levels adjustment is just simply click auto and that will analyze the photo and automatically adjust the levels for me. Uh, my taste, I like a little higher contrast, uh, boosts the darks a little bit. So if you drag this little black uh, triangle here uh, to the left, will boost the darks. That's of course too much. So just boost it a little bit to your own taste and then go ahead and close that one as, as well. So again, back to our original turn off those two adjustment layers. We actually haven't changed the original photo. We've just turned the water blue and we've adjusted the levels to make it look like it wasn't taken on such a cloudy overcast day. Hope that helps and uh, we'll see you next time on Ask Bob.